How do we find this peace? Remember who we are first. Remember that the first and great commandment is to love God with our heart, might, mind, and strength. All that we do should be motivated by our love for Him and for His Son every day, every day, every day. As we develop our love for them by keeping their commandments every day, every day, every day. Our capacity to love ourselves and to love others will increase. We will begin to serve family and friends and neighbors because we will see them as the Savior sees them, as sons and daughters of God. Second, pray unto the Father in the name of Jesus Christ every day, every day, every day. It is through prayer that we can feel the love of God and show our love for Him. Through prayer, we express gratitude and ask for the strength and the courage to submit our wills to God's and to be guided and directed in all things every day, every day, every day. I encourage you to pray unto the Father with all the energy of heart that you may be filled with this love, that you may become the sons and daughters of God, that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. Third, read and study the Book of Mormon every day, every day, every day. My Book of Mormon studies tends to go better when I read with a question in mind. As we study with a question, we can receive revelation every day, every day, every day, and recognize that the prophet Joseph Smith spoke truth when he declared, the Book of Mormon is the most correct of any book on earth, and a man or a woman would get nearer to God by abiding by his precepts than by any other book. The Book of Mormon contains the words of Christ and helps us remember who we are. Lastly, prayerfully partake of the sacrament every week, every week, every week. It is through covenants and priesthood ordinances, including the sacrament, that the power of godliness is manifest in our every lives. Every day, every day, every day. Elder David A. Bednar taught, the ordinance of the sacrament is a holy and repeated invitation to repent sincerely and to be renewed spiritually every week, every week, every week. The act of partaking of the sacrament in and of itself does not remit sin, but as we prepare conscientiously and participate in this holy ordinance with a broken heart and a contrite spirit, then the promise is that we may always have the Spirit of the Lord to be with us every day, every day, every day. As we humbly partake of the sacrament, we remember Jesus suffering in that sacred garden called Gethsemane and his sacrifice on the cross. We express gratitude to the Father for sending his only begotten Son, our Redeemer, and show our willingness to keep his commandments and to always remember him every day, every day, every day. There is a spiritual enlightenment associated with the sacrament. It is personal, it is powerful, and it is needed. Every week, every week, every week. Every day, every day, every day.